You have the power to change the look and feel of your home by making small changes here and there one at a time. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about one of those small changes that you can make. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Carla from Vintage Hip Decor, and today we are gonna talk about the basics of styling a coffee table. So we do not all have the budgets to do full room makeovers all the time. Every once in a while it works out where you can do a makeover or two and really change a space like dramatically overnight. But in general, decorating happens over time, slowly, with small changes here and there. And by learning these couple tips and tricks that I'm gonna be teaching you about how to style a coffee table, you can change the top of your coffee table, but you can also apply these tips and tricks to styling and decorating in general in your home. And soon enough, if you go around and restyle areas of your home, it's gonna start feeling very different. There is really something powerful about making small switches and changing something up. It brings in so much fresh life and energy into a space by just making these small tweaks. I know that this often happens to me. If I restyle something, let's say I restyle the top of my coffee table, and then later that night I'm hanging out, I'm watching TV, I get up and I go get a drink of water, I come back to my living room and I'm like, oh yeah, I restyled the top of my coffee table and it looks so good. And that kind of rush of energy kind of sticks around for a while after you restyle something. Thing. Today we are hanging out in this lounge that we actually did do a pretty extreme makeover on. We kind of saved up and budgeted and we're able to do a full room makeover on this space. So I will link that video so that you can go and check that one after this one. But we are in this space today because there's a standard size coffee table in here that we're gonna be restyling together. But then we're gonna take the principles that we learned while restyling this coffee table and apply it to two other coffee tables that we have in our home. One will be in my living room because I have a kind of smaller abnormal size coffee table so I can show you what to do when your coffee table is a little bit smaller and then we also have a large oversized coffee table in my mom's living room so I'm going to show you how to apply the same tips and tricks to a big coffee table. We talk a lot about decorating here on our YouTube channel and give you lots of inspiration for decorating in your own home and we also do makeovers and talk about organizing so if any of that sounds good to you and you want to keep hanging out hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. Okay, so we're about to jump into the principles on things you should keep in mind when styling a coffee table. But I wanna say, probably 99% of you watching right now have a coffee table in your home and there are probably things on it, right? I want you to do this with me and I want you to follow each step so that at the end of it, you have a lovely restyled coffee table and you can experience that fun feeling of forgetting that you did it and then walking into the room later and being like, oh yeah, it looks really good in here. All right, I figured we might as well get down on the ground right next to our coffee table while we talk about this. And the very first thing that we're gonna do, of course, is clear off our coffee table so that we start with a nice, fresh, clean slate. Okay, next we need some things to style our coffee table with. So I'm gonna tell you to go around your home and look for books, home decor items, plants, candles, anything that you can kind of put on a coffee table. Bring them all into your space, just lay them out on the floor next to your coffee table. Try and pick out a couple more things than you think you're gonna need. We're probably gonna aim to use about five to seven items, so try and grab about 10 or 11 items so that you have a couple different things to pick from while we're styling. Try to grab things of varying heights and textures and sizes and shapes, just again, so that you have a lot of variety to play with while you're styling. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the most important thing that you need to know about how to style a coffee table and actually how to style most things. This also applies to selling bookshelves, nightstands, the top of dressers, pretty much anything. So the big secret is we are gonna style using our biggest things first and then move down to our smallest things. So we start with your biggest items and then layer in smaller items on top. So for a coffee table, we're gonna aim for around five to seven items. If you have a really big coffee table, you could probably do more than that, but we'll get to that a little bit later. 
So like I just said, we're gonna start with our big things. So that will be something like books or trays or a basket, something big to kind of get a layer going. For me in this coffee table, it's gonna be this kind of larger book. So I used a book, but again, you could use a tray or a basket or something like that that's nice and flat. Something that you could stack something else on top of because what this is doing is it's adding some height already to our coffee table and we could put things on top and next to this first big Big item. So next you're gonna move on to whatever your next biggest item is. So it could be a plant or a decorative item or a candle. Just whatever is biggest in your pile of things that you gathered. For me it's this little plant. So I'm gonna stick that right on top of the book for now. Don't overthink your placement. Just go with whatever feels good because you can play around with this. We're just working in a small area and we can move it around at any point. Okay so now I'm gonna go for my next biggest item. For me, it's this decorative brass vase thingy. Thingy. My next biggest item is this brass canister, which I like because it's round, and so that means that it looks nice from all sides. It doesn't have like a back. When it comes to styling your coffee table, you wanna try and avoid things that have a clear, ugly back. What was this? <laughs> you know, air quotes. But you know what I mean, like a picture frame, something like that, you wanna avoid that because it has a back that you don't really want to be showing in the front. And since a coffee table, typically people walk all around it, you wanna pick something that looks nice from all sides. So this canister works perfectly for me. I'm just gonna set it next to the book. And the reason I'm doing that is just to create some dimension and have varying heights. We do not want everything to be the same height and level. So since these are kind of similar in size, I'm just gonna set it off to the side here for now. All right, so just keep picking up smaller things. So now I'm gonna come in with like this little candle here in a jar and these little matches, which are even smaller. So see how all three of these things are all a different size and they're varying heights. So that creates lots of nice dimension and it even looks different still than this canister off here to the side. Lastly, I'm gonna add in these two coasters because these are obviously very practical to be used on a coffee table and they are nice and flat as well. So they bring in yet another different height and some texture over here off to the side. And I mean, we pretty much already styled it, right? I have to say that I feel like this little guy is kind of just floating off and it's not grounded. It's just kind of off to the side. So I'm gonna switch this plant around to this side instead so that it kind of includes this guy into the formation a little bit more. I'm just gonna bring in this old book and layer it under this plant. And the reason I chose to do that is because it adds even more height, making it a little bit more defined of a different height from this canister, because they're actually almost a little similar in scale and height. So now this extra book just adds a lot more dimension, and it also separates it from these two items as well, but they're all still kind of grouped together. Using an odd number of items that are all different sizes and scales and textures just adds lots of interest and character and dimension. What do I do with my hands? And that's it, those are all the things you need to keep in mind. So now let's practice the things that we learned by applying it to two different coffee tables with different items. Now we are on the floor by my coffee table in my living room. And yes, our home does have like three living room type areas. That's just what works best for our home. And my coffee table is non-traditional in the fact that I am using just an old trunk as my coffee table, which I have to say is amazing for storage. This thing is stocked to the brim with junk well, stuff that we need and need to store. So that has come in really handy. But yeah, it's a little bit smaller than most coffee tables. So now instead of using five to seven items, because it's a smaller coffee table, we're gonna go more for three to five items. And we're also gonna try and pick items that are maybe a little bit smaller, not use anything that is too big. So we already learned the principles, so we're just gonna apply them really quickly. We're gonna come in with our 
biggest item. So in my case, this is a cutting board that I'm kind of using as like a tray because it's nice and small. A lot of trays and baskets are almost too big for my coffee table since it's so small. And this little cutting board works nicely for a small kind of flat thing to add height. My next biggest item is this plant. So I'm gonna stick that right there. My next biggest item, so my kind of medium item, is this cute little jar of candles. So I'm gonna stick that right next to it. And then I'm gonna finish it off with just another little thing of matches. I really do believe in the importance of styling your coffee table in a practical way because realistically, you're probably using your coffee table to rest drinks on, maybe um, a book or two, your phone. So you wanna leave space around the outside of your decor to make sure that there is surface area for you to put still put things. And another practical thing is coasters. My husband and I watch TV in here all the time. We always have drinks. So I always like to just keep some coasters handy because I know that we're gonna need them and it's just practical. Okay, now for our third and final coffee table, we are gonna apply all the same principles, but to an oversized coffee table. So you guessed it, you can just scale up all of your items. You definitely don't wanna just stick a couple tiny things in the middle. It will just look lost on all of that space. So you go big. Biggest item, a tray. So my mom has this really lovely oversized tray that works perfectly for the scale of her coffee table, but it still leaves room around the outside edge for people to put drinks. The next biggest items are two books. So instead of just one book this time, we're gonna use two because we have a lot more space to fill up. So I'm gonna stick two really big, beautiful design books down in the basket. Next, I'm gonna stick this glass tray on here too. So we already have a tray in the big basket, but we have some height with this book and a lot of space in here that we can easily add a tray on top of these books. And it still won't be overpowering because it's a clear glass tray. So it doesn't take up too much visual space, but brings in another texture. Now for some more medium sized decor, we have some space in this side of the basket. So I'm gonna drop a couple of these big decorative balls down on this side. And then there are a couple little ones to sprinkle in with those as well. And then some more medium decor that my mom has for her coffee table is this cute bird and another ball just to bring that kind of element over here. And then the last thing that we're adding is actually not the smallest thing. It just needed to go on last because it's huge. And that is our greenery element. So the rule was biggest to smallest, but this guy was the exception to the rule, which always happens, right? You may have noticed from this video that I decorate with a lot of vintage and antique home decor. And that is because that is what I love. That is how vintage hip decor got started over eight years ago by us selling vintage furniture and decor. So if you're ever wondering where you can find some authentically vintage and antique home decor, a lot like what I use here in my home, head to vintagehipdecor.com. I will link that down in the description for you. But that about does it for styling these coffee tables. I really hope that you learned something and that you saw that it is easy once you you break it down into a couple simple principles, styling a coffee table is easy. And you can actually apply these principles to a lot of different areas of decorating. I will also link for you our video on where I talk about shelf styling, which I also go over a couple of these same principles, but then apply it to shelves. But I just want to say that I really appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing so that we can keep hanging out because we make videos like this one all the time. And as always, I hope that this helped you to see your own home in a new light. Core by making small little, small little. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Yichi Chinu. Me, as I go through the tips. Oh my goodness, that was like a bunch of ice that just fell off the side. For me and this coffee table, and it creates lots, lots of interest. <sighs> I need a little water. I think that's everything. You nailed it, girlfriend. 
I recently got some new glasses and I'm like really feeling myself. <laughs> what was that? But still leaves room around the accent. <sighs> if you stuck around to watching the very end of the video, you're the real MVP. Thank you for watching our video all the way through. It really means so much to us. So go ahead and give it a like if you haven't yet because you've made it this far anyway. But you know what, since you like watching, I'm gonna link some things for you to watch next.